welcome to uh, another Kevin Entertainment Review. I'm Art here with Video Palooza 2024, day 13, with the review of Apple TV's Franken, starring Michael Douglas, based on Great Improvisations, the book by Sarah Schiff. Um, what did I think of the series? Who should watch it? And did I think it was any good? First of all, I think Michael Douglas's portrayal and his appearance as Benjamin Franklin looks amazing. Who should watch it is anybody who wants to watch a dramatization of French life as it pertains to the American Revolution in France between 17... 75 and 1783 I think it is 81 or 83 um, the book well I shouldn't say the book but the show takes liberties with bouncing around the time period trying to make the most coherent uh, line of television they can but I think falling slightly short because it's, it's a slow moving show. It does have its poignant stabs at certain point. It's not that it's a bad show. It's a good show. It's a slowly, a poorly paced um, dramatization of the fight for um, American freedom inside the French court. They spend far much, too much time in the show, Franklin delving into not important matters in so far as it pertains to the American Revolution. Are those parts somewhat entertaining? Sure, they're somewhat entertaining. Are they altogether relevant or coherent to the story not so much and that's my problem with them is they're not co coherent and um, relevant to the story is it a good show yeah is it historically accurate no way uh, it, it takes liberties with history a lot of liberties with history it bounces around history to where if you don't know that much about the, about the American Revolution, you could easily get lost in what you're doing and what's going on. It is a slowly paced show. There are a lot of subtitles, so those that are, that are averse, to, averse to subtitles uh, shouldn't watch so show because a lot of French is spoken and that French is subtitled. Which I don't have a problem with because that's period accurate. But I do need to warn you about that so that you can... Uh, and that didn't help because I found myself not watching the scene but having to read the subtitles to understand what point they were trying to get across and what the scene was trying to convey at times. At times you can watch it when they speak English which does happen a fair amount I shall say. Um... It does do a good job in pro in portraying the tense nature towards American freedom and how for a long time Franklin over there was kind of shunned and put on put to the side of the court, seen, respected for who he was, but not uh, really dealt with as an American delegate because. France didn't want to quite yet um, deal with America as its own sovereign nation in the beginning. So that that plays off, but you don't really you get to see Franklin have triumphant mo moments. I think they spend too much time on his grandson, considering the show is called Franklin. And you want to know about Benjamin Franklin, and Benjamin Franklin is the centerpiece. They spend far too much time on his grandson and the escapades of his grandson, 
which, albeit did um, concern Franklin in the real historical context, but it just it just led to slowing down the meat of the matter and slowing down what should have been a better paced, um, closely more historically accurate telling of this piece of history. Because it's not like you couldn't leave it up. I, th It's not that you couldn't look it up and see what happened during this time period and have a pretty darn good accounting of what happened during this time period. My problem is, I think, the show, and I can't say yet the book. We'll get into the book at a later date because I am going to read the book, Great Impro Improvisation, uh, Improvisions. By, by Sarah Ship. It's on Kindle Unlimited, so I will read it, and I, I will judge it on how accurate the TV show was to it, and I will judge it on how accurate it is to history. But I can say this, the show itself, while entertaining, in somewhat histor historical tidbits were dropped in here and there, they weren't altogether that important, and it didn't seem like the production house really cared about telling the American independent story through the eyes of Benjamin Franklin, which I truly believe this should have been about. And through the first episode, it does falsely lead you to think that, that, that that's going to be the main crux of the story, when in fact it was a side dressing to the story at best. So that's why for me it gets a six popcorns out of ten. Who should watch it? Anybody who wants to watch uh, good produced TV because I do think it was it was good produced. Michael Douglas does a bang up job as Franklin, in as an elder statesman Franklin. I think he did a bang up job doing that. And would I watch it now? It is a mini series, so once it's done, it's done. But would I watch it again? Probably not. But I'm glad I watched it and reviewed it and could let you know all what I think of it. I think it is worth a watch if you are looking for something to watch and want something with a historical tint to it. But I think there are a great many more books that better tell this portion of history and a great many more uh, movies and documentaries that tell this more accurately. That's why I can't raise it to um, and there were many times that I had to rewatch episodes because I fell asleep uh, during them because they were that slow and that boring. But let me know in the comments down below if you intend on watching Franklin. Like I said, it's a 6 out of 10. It's above average, but it's not uh, It's not something that I would make appointment television to view. It just truly isn't. Let me know in the comments down below if you watch Franklin, though. Let me try to let me know, spoiler free, what you thought of it. Let me know also if you plan on watching Franklin. Let me know that, that in the comments down below. It is on Apple TV Plus, which is a lesser... Um, known service outside of the states and really a, a service that doesn't have much on it except for maybe soccer and, and Ted Lasso I think are its two main drawing powers but until next time this is what I would say you know I, I make videos every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday 12.30pm Central 10.30am Pacific 1.30pm Eastern please like comment subscribe if you want to see more Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. But because we're in the throes of Video Palooza, you're getting another video tomorrow for day 14. I have an inkling of what those are going to be, but I'm not going to say anything quite yet because I may have to move things around again. Um, but I do have an inkling of what they're going to be. I expect that they're going to be two, two more video games review for days 14 and 15. And then we will get back to CRUs at some, at the regularly uh, 
prescribed point. But until next time, I know we're in the throes of it if we lose it, and we're gonna, you're gonna have another video tomorrow. I will see you again soon. Happy watching and peace.